Okay, our lesson for today, this is square of a binomial. Okay, so we have a plus b, the quantity squared, is the same as a plus b multiplied by a plus b. So the long method is you distribute a times a, that is a squared, a times b, that is a b, b times a, that is a b, and b times b is b squared. And you combine similar terms, AB plus AB, that is 2AB. So the answer is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So this is the shortcut. We will use the shortcut for the square of a binomial. This is the shortcut. Okay. If this is minus, the same, but the middle term is minus. Okay. So marami, there are many discussions, but we will apply in the example. So first we will square the first okay a that is a squared then you multiply a times b a times b times 2 so 2 is constant and the last term b that is b squared always positive the middle term the sign of the middle term it is in the, it depends to the given so if this positive that is plus if this minus the middle term is minus Okay, so let's apply it to our first example. If x minus 3, the quantity squared, so first, you square the first, okay? So our first is x, so you square that, that will become x squared. Then you multiply the first or the second term, x times 3, that is 3x times 2 constant, so that is 6 x the sign is minus so this is minus and the third term is always positive we square 3 3 squared is 3 times 3 that is 9 okay so that is the shortcut you will you will not need the long method x minus 3 x minus 3 but the shortcut is i repeat first you square x times x x squared then x times 3, 3x times 2 because there is a short uh, constant 2 so that is 6x the minus sign is minus and the third term is always positive and you square the 3 that is 9 okay did you understand let's go to proceed to the second example okay so the second example is x plus 3 the quantity squared so first you square the first okay the x squared the sign is positive so always positive you multiply x times 3 3x three times 2 constant 2 that is 6x and the third term is always positive you square the 3 3 times 3 is 9 okay so I repeat you square the first term, x squared. You multiply x times 3, 3x three times 2, because there is a constant 2. So plus 6x, and you square the last term, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. And the sign of the middle term is always positive. Okay, did you understand? Okay, we proceed to the third example. Okay. third example is a minus 3b the quantity squared okay so let's apply the first term you square so that will become a squared then the sign is minus so this is minus you multiply a times 3b that is 3ab times 2 so that is 6ab Okay, plus, always plus, okay, and you square the last term, that is 3b times 3b, that will become 9b squared. Okay, so first, you square a squared, the first term, a squared, you multiply a times 3b, so that is 3ab times 2, so that will become 6ab. And the sign is minus, so this is minus. 
And the last term is always positive. And you square 3B, 3B times 3B is 9B squared. That is how to square a binomial. Okay, let's proceed to the fourth example. Again, you square the first term, 2x times 2x, that will become 4x squared. This is plus, so this is plus. You multiply 2x times 3x, so that is 6xy times 2, so that is 12xy. Plus, you square the last term, 3y, so that will become 9y squared. Okay, so I repeat. 2 square the first term, 2x times 2x, that, is, that will become 4x squared. This is plus, so this is plus. You multiply 2x times 3y, that is 6xy times 2, so that will become 12xy. And the third term is always positive, and you square that 3y, 3y times 3y, that is 9y squared. So it is very easy. Okay. Next, we proceed to number 5. How about 4x minus 5y, the quantity squared? So, we don't need the long cut, but we will apply the shortcut. The shortcut is square the first term. So, 4x times 4x, so that is 16x squared. This is minus, so the middle term is minus. You multiply 4 times 5, that is 20 times 2. There is a constant 2, so that is 40 x y the third term is always positive and the square of 5 y is 5 times 5 25 y squared okay so i repeat so this is 4x times 4x that is 16 x squared and 4x times 5 is 20 times 2 so that will become 40 x y so minus the sign is minus and the third term is always positive the square of 5 y is 5 times 5 is 25 y times y is y squared okay did you understand okay so next we proceed to the last example how about 2 a b minus 3 c the quantity squared so the shortcut is c squared the first term 2ab okay so that is 4a squared b squared the side the middle term is minus so our middle uh, our second term is minus 2ab times 3c is 6abc times 2 because this is a constant 2 so that is 12abc and the third term is always positive Okay, and the square of 3c is 3c times 3c is 9c squared. Okay, I repeat. The square of a binomial is the square of the first term, that is 2ab. So that will become 2ab times 2ab, that will become 4a squared, b squared. The middle term is you multiply 2ab and 3c. So 2 times 3 is 6abc times 2. 2, there is a constant 2 in our formula so that will become 12 ABC and the sign of the middle term is depend on the sign of the given if this is minus so this is minus this is plus the middle term is plus but the third term is always positive so the square of 3C is 3C times 3C is 9C squared so our answer is 4A squared B squared minus 12 ABC plus 9c squared so yung camera natin hindi na siya gumagalaw because we have our tripod already so thank you for the advice of my uh, former student John Peralta again ayun umusog lang konti again magtumutok dito lang sa matuto learn to love math till next time uh -huh.